but go, you go, but can you go in oh. front of me and look at the parking lot before I pull in there and then can't get out? These idiots here will, so I need someone to park, like stop in the right lane so, you so want I me can to be swing. In, you want me to be in front of you, but yet end up I, behind I you. I get in there, I know that. But I, wanna, I don't want traffic to go, like if I'm in this lane, I gotta turn this way. Right. So you gotta stop, so I can pull in. Well, what was I standing back here for? I bought the camper and Chad pays for the sites. And evidently there wasn't any of the big sites available here at Beaver. So we got, I mean, these are for like a little pop-up, like they don't have any sewer or anything. So that's why it was kind of a circus because it's not meant for a 35 foot camper to be in one of these little spots. And, but we make it work. So we're over halfway done with the season at this point. We're coming into stop number four, heading to Beaver Lake, which is every angler's favorite stop. Looks real nice behind me, doesn't it? Yo, know, guess what? This lake's been kicking my ass for 12 years. In all seriousness, Beaver Lake is a challenging fishery, and it's one we go to pretty much every year, which is why I think a lot of anglers get this impression in their head that they can just kind of write it off and look ahead to the next lake. But when we look at the star-studded lineup of past Beaver Lake champions, it really shows that if you don't show up with your A-game at Beaver Lake, you're not gonna have a good time. Grass. Recent years, we've had some good spawns on Beaver. We're seeing winning weights increase. We're seeing average catches increase. And I think it's got more guys kind of excited about going there. The small mouth are getting a little bigger. And we're definitely seeing bigger large mouth and we're even seeing some really good sized spots. Come here, baby. Get over here. Which is what you need to really get guys fired up for a tournament like this. That's what we want. We have three events left if you count this one before the Forest Wood Cup. And this is really a time that guys need to buckle down and make a move to try to get into those qualifying spots. Currently, Chad is in 92nd, and JT is just holding on for a cup qualification at 32nd. If you slip up here and you're on the bubble, you might not be making up to the Forcewood Cup. Chad had caught a lot of fish during the day, but he only managed to bring in two weighable bass, which 
not that great. I'm gonna have to pull up JT Kenny. Suck the first day and catch him the second. The Keystone Light Pro from Maple Grove, Minnesota, Chad Grigsby. Five, two, excuse me, two bass today. Two fish gonna weigh in at two pounds, 11 ounces, 211. Are we gonna do something different tomorrow? No, I thought I had them kind of figured out up the river and, and I struggled today. I didn't catch nearly what I thought I was gonna, but I'll go back up there. It, that river burns me about every time, so it burnt me today. I'll go back up there tomorrow, maybe catch them. All right, we'll see what happens. Give a big round of applause. He sat in 164th place. But on the bright side, he did beat nine other guys. Ugh. Ugh. Even Charlie Evans beat me. Ugh. Not good. That was bad. Ugh. The thing is, though, it's like eight pounds or something to get a check, so. I catch 13 or 14. Oh, Thrift had 16 pounds, huh? Ugh, I'm tired of looking at it. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. It ain't funny. No, I know. Don't even start with me, Travis. From Palm Bay, Florida, JT Kenny. What's up, JT? Uh, another day on Beaver Lake. You know, it was a grind out there, but ended up getting five okay ones, I guess. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Going to be a good day. I got a feeling. <laughs> Boy, I hope so. Yes, sir. Five bass for you today, JT. Got you the weight of eight pounds, eight ounces, eight, eight for JT. When it was all said and done at the end of day one, the other half of Circuit Breaker also felt the stinginess of Beaver Lake and settle down in the 90th place. I don't know. I must have, in a former life, I think I pissed this lake off somewhere along the line. I think I've been here 12 times. I've made the cut once. Yeah, I just don't like it. I just want to get out of here with a check and go to the next one. Here's my boat. Oh, this isn't mine. That's what they're gonna give me next year if I keep catching the same amount that I did yesterday. Zero percent chance of wind today. They said like five miles an hour or something like that. No rain. So, all those guys that caught them in that clear water, hopefully will struggle today. Don't wanna wish bad on anyone. But weights will probably go way down and hopefully mine goes way up can't go down much farther. I'm gonna do a little more flipping and just trying to catch big ones, which obviously everyone tries to catch big ones, but a lot of times you gotta try to catch your limit before you catch a big one. But I'm either gonna have a great day or zero, because it really doesn't matter. There's my idiot buddy. He's not very smart. Seriously. Thanks, Daryl. Sixty-seven. Thank. See ya. Sixty-seven. <laughs>
that's your check-in float. It's got a little computer chip in it so they know when you're when you leave and when you come back. Well, it took two days of tournament fishing for Chad to catch one single day limit of five bass. That's all I got. Chad, 211 yesterday, three bass today. Just ready to get this one out of the way? It's out of the way, I can tell you that. <laughs> you know, it is out of the way. It is, it's over for me. Just that kind of tournament though. Yeah, I, I thought I had something going up the river and it, and it never panned out and I just went as far as I could go today and just fished the whole way back. Well, let me get you out of here. Three in the bag, weigh five pounds and 10 ounces, eight five. Thank you, Chad. Which put him in 152nd place overall. Basically over 100 spots outside of taking home a $10,000 check. Fish, fish. Throughout the season, JT has been able to rally on day two, but at Beaver Lake, it seems that magic has run out. Four bass today. These four fish are going to weigh in at six pounds, three ounces, six three, puts you at 1411. Will that be worth 10,000? No, I'm keeping my Beaver Lake string alive of this lake kicking my butt every year, so uh, I didn't want to change anything. You did a good job of it this week for you. you. Finished in 107th, not taking home a check in this one, and in his words, adds to the pile of suck, which I guess at this point, if it's getting taller, it's probably getting pretty wide too. It's a lot of suck. Who's that? Who's who? Who's that? Who's that? Who's who? Who's that? Who's? Quit saying who's that. Oh yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he hates me. Who yeah. doesn't? Very no, she said that Casey, uh, the guy that did this thing last year. Martin? Yeah. Yeah, he's, prob he's probably happy that we both sucked because he hates us now. You're his biggest fan. The whole thing about, which it's kind of funny, really, because, like, <laughs> I don't even know the guy and I don't hate him, but now, like, I guess I'm going to, I guess he's going to be mad at me, so I'm going to play it up. I don't think he's smart enough to be mad. Oh, that's Casey. That's Casey Ashley. No, he's cool. I mean, other than he sings country, that's dumb. But, but I mean, he's cool though. No bueno. Got me a kicker at the end of the day. <coughs> Did you? A Fifteen and a half inch large. One. Nice, yeah. nice work. Mm -hmm. Nice work. Yeah. Got me a spot suspended in a tree, like thirty foot deep. I just slung a cast out there and sunk about four foot. Got my second biggest one with a two pound. Oh, you're on a pattern. Yeah, pretty yeah. well dialed. Start a guide service here. Yeah, that's impressive, Luke. It's the head driver of the suck truck right now. Chad and I are just holding on behind well, you. You're guys, driving and you guys catch other tournaments this whole year. I haven't caught much of anything. I got on stage and apologized to my sponsors today. That's how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Look at this. Where'd you see that? It's down at the bottom of the hill. Did you use it? No, oh, JT did. <laughs> did you get a picture of that? Did you guys? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> He's reading the FLW magazine. Because that's what I think of Beaver Lake. Didn't get a check. Oh, okay, JT didn't get a check. Well, he catches them all the time, so he'll get one next time. Well, guess what? When I miss a check, it messes up everything. Most people with a normal job get to work 50 weeks a year. I get to work six. I'm not out there doing it for fun. I've created this myself, but now it's what it is and this is how I earn my living. This is what happens. I have to catch them. I have to put them in the live well. When I lose a four pounder, I'm affected. My mother's affected. My girlfriend's affected. My freaking water might get turned off. I might not be able to keep the power on. Last year, I spent $26,000 just in fuel for the truck and boat. So every time you see somebody make a $10,000 check, think about that. There's a real chance now that I might not make the Forest Wood Cup. 
I've made it the last eight, seven or eight years in a row, whatever. I mean, that's a big deal to me. It's scary. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. And the last time I didn't get a check, guess where? Right here. The old beeve. Not been so good to me. I'd like to get down there and just throw rocks in it. Not for fun, just because every time the rock would hit the water, the little splash would make me think, maybe I hurt the beaver just a little bit as much as it has over me over the last, oh, let me think, 12 years. Now clearly, Beaver Lake is not JT's deal, but one angler who prior to this tournament listed Beaver Lake as his favorite fishery on his bio is Matt Airy, who's been doing work this week. Now if we look back to 2001, it only took Clark Wenlet about 11 pounds a day to win. And to show how far Beaver Lake has evolved as a fishery, Aerie is fishing a jig catching 14 to 15 pounds a day. Yeah! Quality fish. Yeah! To ultimately bring him, oh damn, I forgot where I was going. But yeah, he caught some fish. <laughs> uh, today worth 15 pounds. Oh yeah, I get you won too. <laughs> You got the big check. Your Beaver Lake champion for 2014, Matt Harry. There are six lakes on the road to the Forest Wood Cup, the championship of bass fishing and the largest payday in the sport. And the top 35 pros qualify for a shot at that title. And at this point in the season, it's not looking too good for JT who dropped out of the cut down to 51st, but especially Chad who slipped down to 116th. The Forestwood Cup is, that's not even an option anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. And, and that's how it does a lot of times when it's, stuff starts going bad. It just, it's, it's, it keeps going and getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, sometimes you have these years and it's, I have no idea why it's this year, but it is. I've been doing this for 12 years, so I've seen a lot of guys come and go. And I've weathered every storm so far. And, just move forward, go to Pickwick, catch them, and then go to Kentucky Lake and hopefully have a couple top tens for the end of the year. You could potentially win two tournaments and make $250,000 in the month of June. It could happen. They're almost back to back. They're like three weeks apart, two and a half weeks apart. I'm not banking on it happening, but that's obviously the goal every time. When you do well and you make a top 10 or whatever, it's easier at home because everyone's in a good mood, everyone's happy. and. You know, you did well, you got a big check, and then when it starts going the other way, you just, I mean, we've been doing it long enough where I kind of know the reactions. You know, at first, I'm mad, and then my wife is mad, and then it's like, well, you know, you just got to catch them tomorrow, and then if you don't, it's like, I just, it's a bad feeling because it's a lot more fun when you catch them, and it's, it's a lot easier and a lot less stressful, and that's my goal in every tournament is to catch them to you know it's to make her proud and my kids proud i mean that's that's what this is all about and it makes me happy to make them happy so you know it's it just makes life a lot easier when things go well but when it doesn't and that's part of it she's still supportive she still is 100 percent behind me and i know that so i just have to do better the next time and get over this little bad streak here. So we're going to try that next time.